19 NHL seasons, five-time Stanley Cup champion, a hockey Hall of Famer, and in the words of the great one, the greatest goaltender in NHL history. We are so pleased to have Grant joining us here on the show. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. We've got a lot to dive into with you, but I want to begin with a little summer hockey talk. And of course, you were a bench boss this season and last for three ice hockey. You're a goaltender who loves a lot of offense. So take us through what it was like being part of this league, which we know is action packed. Yeah, you know what? I had a lot of fun with it. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't have as much success as I would have liked. But at the same time, I enjoyed the offensive side of the game. And at three on three is exciting to watch. It's exciting to be a part of. And when people get a chance to see it, they'll really enjoy it. There's a lot of great offense and the goalies get an opportunity to stand out in it. Uh, Fierzy, when I think back when you played, I think of that glove and, uh, you know, big time glove saves. Would this be something you would like or I mean, this is kind, <laughs> yeah. this kind of seems like a nightmare for goaltenders as far as what they have to see a little side to side and uh, some desperate saves. Uh, you know what? I think that's fun. I think that's the fun part of it is we played a little three on three the one year of the lockout. They had the tournament in Hamilton and I had a ball playing in it. So I kind of like the three on three. I like where you have to play with a little bit of desperation and kind of dive around a little bit. It's a championship weekend in three ice. It's in Philadelphia on Saturday. Uh, the games can be seen on CBS. So it's going to be an exciting weekend there. What do you think? What's the key for the teams that are remaining? Uh, you know, Larry Murphy has the top seeded team and uh, you know does he have the edge in your mind what's the going to be the key to winning this whole thing on Saturday I like to think the biggest thing is going to be getting a timely save and then getting a timely goal I and mean, I think it's going to be lower scoring than people think but at the same time you're going to see some highlight re real goals you're going to see some pretty plays and you're going to see guys having a good time even though it's going to be fairly serious well, what a roster that you guys have of head coaches for this league. What was it like for you in being a part of it, but also maybe having that competitive nature come right back to it as you go up against uh, some other NHL legends as well? You know what? It's fun. I mean, you battle against them on the ice, and we've become good friends over the years. So I think we're still all pretty competitive, and we enjoy winning. I think that's the one common denominator we all have is we all like to win. So it's fun to get together with the guys and in a nice little competitive atmosphere. When we watch this, I mean, obviously being three on three and we know even in the NHL with the three on three overtime, there's an adjustment. The game is a little bit different, but is it even more unique and different because it's three on three all the time? I mean, have you learned something by uh, doing this the last couple of seasons where the game is just, you, you have to address things differently and is a learning process along the way? There's a bit of a learning process, but there's, it's, in-game adjustments. I mean, you have to adjust defensively where you play things a little bit differently. You try not to go man on man and chase the puck around. You got to be a little bit more patient in your own end. And I think it really helps the players in the transition side of it. You learn when a puck's turned over quickly that you have to have that quick transition to create scoring opportunities. What are some of the things, uh, Grant, that you learned about coaching? Because obviously you're a Hall of Fame goaltender. You were one of the best ever to do that job. And now you get involved in coaching. I mean, were there things that you were surprised to figure out about uh, actually being behind the bench? Uh, it's not so much a surprise. It's easier to control one person. So obviously yeah. playing is a little bit easier. <laughs> I think that's the biggest difference is once the game starts, it's kind of out of your hands a little bit. You can't, you're not out there where you have a say in things. You can kind of give direction, that sort of thing. But once the game starts, the players have to be able to read and react to the game on their own because it happens so fast in three on three. I think a uh, thing that always stands out is how much fun you were having during your playing career. You always talked about how much you loved just playing and being out there on the ice. What kind of opportunity is it for the players that you're coaching and maybe the ones that want to try to, to get noticed and maybe get themselves in a different league or some type of aspect in their professional careers? But you know what? It's an opportunity for them to showcase their offensive talents. I think it, what you see in it is you see good hockey sense. And we've had a couple of guys sign their American Hockey League contracts this year. So that's the fun part is you see guys are getting an opportunity. They're getting some chances. And for the goalies, obviously, three on three, you're going to stand out, good or bad. So that's the fun part of it. And guys are getting noticed, and that's what you want to see out of it. So uh, yesterday marked the anniversary of the big trade, the biggest trade in hockey history. So from somebody who was, uh, had the boots on the ground, can you take us through that big trade with Wayne Gretzky and kind of your emotions that day? 
I think, like everybody, I mean, I was out at Bob Cole's golf tournament in St. John's, Newfoundland. So, and nobody ever expected Wayne to get traded. I think that's that was the one big thing. And it kind of set everybody back a little bit. And once you realized that Wayne was going to be traded, we all knew that we weren't destined to be in Edmonton for that much longer. Yeah, it was certainly an unbelievable day. I mean, to think about how that unfolded, uh, you know, with Wayne going to the L.A. Kings, changed kind of the face of the sport in so many ways for so many years. Uh, Grant, one more for me. The uh, Vegas yeah, I mean, Golden Knights. Vegas Golden were... up. Interrupted him there. I don't know if we lost him on the on the feed. He's All okay. Right. We're here. He's okay. All right. Yeah. You know what? It was great for hockey. Bad for us as a team. I think that's the bad thing is we kind of lost out as a team, but at the same time, it's been great. You've got all the Sun Belt markets now. You see the game growing. So in the long run, it's been good for hockey. Yeah, it absolutely has certainly changed the game. Grant, we thank you so much yep. for spending some time with us here on NHL tonight. We hope you enjoy the rest of your summer. Thank you very much. And you guys enjoy the rest of your summer as well.